UN official tour Wins Land criticizes Israel, stating its efforts to allow aid into Gaza are far short of what is needed. Tour, the special coordinator for the Middle East peace process, highlights the nearly insurmountable challenges faced in delivering humanitarian aid to Gaza. Amid massive displacement and active hostilities, the humanitarian response system is on the brink of collapse. While acknowledging limited positive steps by Israel, Wensland emphasizes that they fall significantly short of addressing the human catastrophe on the ground. The urgent plea underscores the severity of the situation in Gaza, emphasizing the necessity for more substantial and effective measures to alleviate the humanitarian crisis and provide essential aid to those in need. The U.S. expresses gratitude to Qatar for its vital cooperation in ongoing peace efforts amid Israel's bombardment of Gaza. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, during a news conference in Doha, highlights Qatar's indispensable role, citing their responsiveness in times of crisis. Austin announces an expansion of the U.S. air base in Qatar, emphasizing the strengthening of the bilateral defense relationship. He acknowledges Qatar's commitment to contribute significant resources to enhance capabilities at Al Udaid Air Base, ensuring support for both nations' forces in the coming years. With Pakistan's general elections just over a month away, the Supreme Court Bar Association and the Pakistan Bar Council have expressed concerns over the election procedure and Chief Election Commissioner Sikandar Sultan Raja's conduct. The SCBA highlighted discrepancies in election procedures, delimitations and seat allocation, questioning the transparency of elections under the current CEC. The association urged a level playing field and equal opportunities for all stakeholders, asserting that timely elections must address grievances to maintain stability. Meanwhile, the BBC raised similar concerns, pointing to imbalances in seat allocations, especially in the CEC's native district, and questioned the integrity of the electoral process. The BBC called for the Supreme Court's intervention and announced plans to formulate a line of action with the SCBA to ensure free, fair and transparent general elections. The Election Commission of Pakistan rejected claims of additional seat allocation, emphasizing its commitment to impartiality and resisting pressure. UNICEF spokesperson James Elder has expressed fury over the dire situation in Gaza, labeling it the most dangerous place in the world for children. Having spent nearly two weeks in the Palestinian territory, Elder passionately condemned the humanitarian nightmares faced by a million children. He voiced anger at those with power who seem indifferent to the suffering inflicted upon the young population. Elder shared heart-wrenching accounts of children undergoing amputations only to face further tragedy as some were killed in those hospitals amid the ongoing Israeli army bombardment of the Gaza Strip. The plea sheds light on the urgent need for attention, empathy and action to address the profound challenges and dangers faced by the children in Gaza, emphasizing the responsibility of those in positions of power to address the humanitarian crisis.